viewers welcome back to cuisines and culture with sally assalamu alaikum my people um so on our last video i want to thank everyone for commenting and sharing their views on marriage divorce and all so before we go into what we have today if you haven't subscribed to our youtube channel can you subscribe to our youtube channel press the notification bell so that whenever i upload a video you will be the first to be notified and my people's so <laughs> subscription is free please subscribe as you're subscribed you know you're telling family and friends watch video you understand and give it a thumbs up like that video you know it gives us joy to create more beautiful and nice content on this channel so today we are going to talk about cultural shock in germany as a northern nigeria as a northern nigerian sorry when i moved to germany there are some culture shock that i had to you know adjust to and all that so today i'm going to talk about few of, of those culture shock first first is the language people don't speak english here yes okay sometimes they try to but because this is germany and they speak german people don't really want to speak english with you you will have to learn german to be able to communicate is it in stores it is is it in clinics hospitals um you know immigration office wherever you go you have to speak german and so i had to adjust to that though my german is <laughs> I don't know what I'm speaking most of the time. Well, I don't even know. But still, I had to adjust to that. I had to start picking the language one after another. And something I also had to adjust to is when you don't speak the language, people are not really that free to communicate with you. Because to be honest with you, Germans are direct. This is actually another <laughs> um culture shock that i had to adjust to germans are direct so it's it's difficult for them to um be free to com communicate with you as you do not speak their language so the best best thing is just for you to go and learn the language understand the language and be able to speak so that you will be able to communicate with people that is one thing i had to adjust with another thing is timing hey <laughs> germans are punctual when i mean punctual i mean punctual germans are punctual when they say nine is nine when they say ten is ten and um one thing also you know in africa especially in nigeria we have this term called nigerian time when someone says um a program is starting by nine it will probably start by 9 30 or even 10. they don't do it here in fact when you're given an appointment and you are late with one minute or even two minutes i am not joking you create this bad impression about yourself that you are not a punctual person and they really don't like it in fact they will show it to you that why are you late to this term in that's what is called appointment in german they will show you that you know it is wrong you have to be punctual that is one thing i had to adjust with another thing i had to adjust with is train timing my god if you miss your train your whole day is going to be disastrous it's just the truth because when you miss your train then you miss your appointment then you miss this then you miss that the timing is just so you cannot even miss your train when you're going somewhere you have to be at the train station 10 minutes 15 minutes earlier or maybe five minutes earlier and wait for the train and if the train is going to be late one thing i love about germans if the train is going to be late they will tell you they will inform you you can either check it on the um on the app there is an app called db so you can check on the app or maybe um, they will announce it or it will be on the thing in the train station that this train is going to be late that is one thing i also had to adjust with when i'm going for a termin in fact i wake up so early and i da, 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 i run to the train station so that i don't miss my train then i don't miss or go late for my termin 
another thing that shocks me let me put it that way not really adjusting but shocks me is on sundays every single thing is closed in Medjugorje, you can go to the market on a Sunday. Market is open, and some places, maybe in Nigeria, some other places are open. But here in Germany, Sunday, every single when I mean every single thing is closed. Everything stores everywhere is closed, so you cannot buy food. You cannot buy anything on Sunday. You know, some people will love sh to shop on Sunday. Will love to get some things on Sunday. But in Germany, it's not like that. Sundays everything are shut down. You're in your house or where you're in your with your family relaxing. And on that same Sunday, you are not allowed to disturb your neighbor. <laughs> Let me hear something. In Nigeria, it may degree on Sundays the house. Even people just come to your house. <laughs> I disturb you but here in germany you are not allowed to disturb your neighbor on sundays in fact sundays are to me to me personally sundays are solemn days you just relax with your family eat good food and sleep because the next day is a working day so yeah i think probably that is the reason behind it another thing also um is um you can't just wake up one day in the morning and just go to someone's house it doesn't work that way here you cannot just wake up the i just want to go and visit someone no in fact when you you when you are about to visit someone or you want to visit, visit someone you have to let the person know like a uh, two days or even one week yeah or even one week you have to let that person know that you are coming to their house you just don't wake up like in nigeria like someone will just come to my house and knock my gate and will open door and the person is just there the person not even tell you that they are coming it's not like that here you will have to inform the person beforehand if not you come and be ringing bell nobody will open door for you so you hardly see people coming to people's house because every other person is so busy around this place yeah another culture shock again <laughs> is you don't just wake up one day because you are sick and you go to the hospital no you don't do that in fact when you come to germany when i moved to germany the first thing we did was to get my insurance after getting my insurance after getting me insured um we had to um, register with an house act house act yeah that's the pronunciation yeah house act we had to uh, register with an house that's like a house doctor or something and the clinic will not be far from your house in fact um when a doctor is recommending a house act for you they will make sure the person is not far from your house so when you're sick or you're feeling dizzy or whatever you're feeling you will have to go to your house act and um if your house act can't handle that then they will refer you to a doctor or they will refer you to the hospital that is when you have to, you will go to the hospital even when you are pregnant you do not go to the hospital for checkups you go to your gynecologist for a checkup so when you're pregnant um you will be referred to a gynecologist that is closed to your home or where, wherever you stay and then um that guy you will be checking you on and on and on again when you are about to give birth that's when you go to the hospital you register uh, in the hospital and then when you're due you will go to the hospital and give birth when you give birth <laughs> it did it's long when you give birth you have to look for um baby doctor a child doctor for your kid and the child doctor or the child clinic will have to be um a clinic that is close to your house always and you have to be taking the baby for checkup every single month if you miss that checkup you are going to pay money <laughs> but like if you miss that checkup if you miss a checkup you miss a checkup like this you pay money i think we are paying money in this house once yeah, once my husband forgot to take the baby for his checkup and then boom. They send us later. By the way, <laughs> everything in this country is later, 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 later. They send us later where we had to pay money for missing the baby's appointment. They do not take that as a joke. And we had to pay that money. 
so yeah another thing is also um this um, crossing the road traffic light let me put it that way it's not that we don't have traffic lights in nigeria but you know in nigeria we don't let's just tell ourselves the truth we don't really obey the traffic light in um, this place abuja maybe but most of the time we don't really obey the traffic light but here you will have to obey it in fact when you have a baby and you're pushing the baby in the troll uh, in the baby stroller that's kinder wagon they call it here if you're pushing your baby in the kinder wagon and then maybe um, cars are not coming and the thing is not green and you're in a hurry and you cross the road and probably the police is by the side and they see you they will give you straffa straffa is like um a bill you have to pay for committing an offense they will give you straffa and then to make it worse even you have a baby they will think you want to hurt your baby yeah that is the thing here that is share my own experience another person's experience might be might be different but that is my own experience but i love it here in germany because of this organization germans are so organized and uh, another thing i had to adjust with is germans are direct as i've said they are yes is yes they are no is no they are not the kind of people that will do kona kona for you if they don't like you you will also see it they will show you and you know all this our yeah, 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 like being emotional this thing you will not see it with german at first you would think maybe they are rude or they are unfriendly but actually it's not like that they are just the way they are <laughs> just leave them like that and i really love it here that's why the um the country is working that's why the society is working because of this organization they have and also another thing i had to adjust with is um you know when it comes to laws here they really 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 adhere to their laws in fact the germans here are so keen to their laws you cannot believe it they do not want to you know um is um what will i say um i don't know the word to use but but <laughs> so sukaria sukaria lord <laughs> but as also carry along so you understand they are too keen um to their law and i love that so much all these things i had to adjust to though i'm still adjusting i'm still adopting you understand but i i adapting or adopting any english you want to use but i had to adapt to that i am yet to finish learning the language i just dear wallahi tallahi ina na kawai allah wallahi ya ran sai godiya kawai you understand another good thing about um germany again is um when you want to protest when you're making a protest you have to um i noticed that also you had you have to register with the police and when you register with the police the police actually protects you so you can go and make your protest and if anyone make mistake of attacking you because you're protesting the police will catch the person unlike the other way around in nigeria let's not talk about it let's not let me not just go to that end start thing and whatever what our government did was terrible it's not even i i don't even like saying it because it's very very embarrassing but here in germany you will notice that um the police protects you as you're doing protest as long as you have registered the police actually protects you which is a good thing so yeah that is it for it for now we i'm i'm going to still like you know talk a lot about me adjusting uh, to the german culture the food and then as a northern nigeria still keeping my culture still dear to my culture and then still embracing the german culture because i live in germany i need to embrace the, uh, the culture of germans and yeah i am germanized <laughs> german sally I am Germanized. Anyway, so that is it for today. I will see you in my next video. Once again, if you haven't subscribed, kindly subscribe to our YouTube channel. Share with family and friends. How about my peoples? Mukai one k subscribers, We can do it. We can do it. Share with family and friends. And thank you very much. Give this video a thumbs up. Thumbs up and subscribe once again i will see you in my next video once again salam alaikum my people bye